what is this video about it's basically a couple of mindset shifts that i've been adopting recently which have literally revolutionized my life and i know i make a lot of videos saying this thing changed my life and it does but this really has been changing my life. So, so first of all, I've always been very much a control freak, a planner. I need to know how everything goes, how my life is going. I need to structure it. But life does not end up working out like that. Something I've been adopting recently is that I've started to believe everything works out for me. Even if I want something so badly and it doesn't happen, it's still working out for me. Like something in the moment can seem bad. For example, I didn't get a sponsorship I wanted. Okay, it just wasn't meant to happen. The reason why I think everything is working out for you is well, firstly, I trust the universe. If you have a faith, you should believe that too, your God, whatever. And secondly, in the grand scheme of things, we don't know how everything is playing out. And the other day in my private story, I was telling you all about my startup history and how when I was in high school, I wanted to go to Harvard or Stanford and this was something I was tirelessly like working towards since um basically since I was 12. So if you don't know about American colleges you don't just need the grades okay I had the grades but you need to really focus on your extracurriculars and if you want to go to a really prestigious college and as an international where there's only like five positions per year you have to be really really unique you have to be like the best in your field at something. So when I was like 14, 15, I was trying a bunch of things. I was like on these platforms trying to figure out how I could create the best college application profile. Then naturally, as time went on, I actually found my niche and my niche ended up becoming startups. Like I just kind of got thrown into it. I was working in apps, building my own. I met so many people. And through that, I also learned a lot of skills. That is where I started marketing. I taught myself UI, UX design, Photoshop, a bit of like coding, how to manage teams, project management, whatever. So I ended up learning those skills and I really honed what I learned, okay? I became really good at what I did. But you're probably wondering, Simone, you didn't go to Stanford. Yeah, I didn't end up applying. So when I was 17, I realized why the fuck would I go to America to get severely in debt? I I didn't even think about what I wanted. All I knew was Stanford, Stanford, Stanford since the age of 12. So then I was like, okay, it doesn't make sense to go. I didn't end up going. But what did I walk away with? All those skills. All those skills, which later helped me in my own businesses. I then went into e-commerce. I sold a couple of stores. Now I'm like heavily in marketing. Every company brand I build, it uses all the skills that I learned when I was in high school. And imagine if I never wanted to go to Harvard. I don't think I would have learned those skills. Maybe at some point in life I would have. But it can you see how it's kind of like divine? Everything is meant to happen even if it's not working out how you expect it to happen. Something else. Get this. So in high school, I wanted to do YouTube as well. I was making videos, but I never bought a camera. The turning point for my channel was when I finally had money to buy my G7X, which I'm filming on now. And that's because I ended up selling one of my Shopify stores. And then I thought, hey, let's just buy a camera. And I bought that camera and then my channel took off. Now my channel wouldn't have taken off if I didn't have the Photoshop experience that I also learned in high school from those startup days. And also if I didn't have that business experience, I probably wouldn't have done well at e-commerce, which made me money to buy this camera. So do you guys see how everything connects? Also now as a YouTuber, I don't really have agencies or other people doing things for me where they take 20% because I have gained all of this experience and skills to now do it myself. I do my merch myself. I do all my brand deals myself. I negotiate them higher. I also do some for other YouTubers because I have those skills. So do you see how everything links together? This is not a, a bragging thing, by the way. I'm just trying to demonstrate how. If you told me at the age of 15, Simone, you're not gonna go to Harvard or Stanford, I would be so devastated, right? But right now, am I devastated? No, because things are working out how they're meant to. I think that every stage in life you're at, you're meant to be there and it will lead to wherever you're meant to be. So that is one mindset I have. Everything is working out for me. I think if you don't have a faith, a religion, or any belief whatsoever, like I'm spiritual, so I believe in, I just believe in the divine, okay? I believe in the universe. If you don't have a faith, I think it'll be really hard to believe what I'm talking about because people who don't have a faith, they're like, I'm in control of everything. 
And this actually can lead to another point because you know, guys, I talk about manifestation, but this is how I believe manifestation works. When you study Neville Goddard, Abraham Hicks, or like other types of spiritual teachers, Osho, Sadhguru, science people like Joe Dispenza and then other religions, whatever, you will realize it all interlocks. It's all the same. It's just reworded, repackaged differently. And I think the problem with a lot of manifestation teachers is that they are like, you can manifest anything. And it's true. But some things you need to leave up to the universe or the divine, like Abraham Hicks, because there is a larger plan. For example, I'm going to give you an example. You want to manifest your ex back, but that may be preventing your soulmate from coming in or someone better because instead you're trying to force it. You're trying to make it work. So I believe that's how manifestation works. You can get things if you really want it, but some of it, you just have to leave up to the universe because there is a divine path that you don't even know about. Leading back to point one, I guess I just wasn't meant to fucking go to Harvard or Stanford. And it's true, if I went there, I don't think I would have ever been doing YouTube. I would not be helping 600,000 people on the internet, right? Making a difference in their lives and then that's gonna go on and have a butterfly effect. For example, I used to use Kane, who's actually the sponsor of this video, which is a psychic platform. And they were giving me readings on my ex when we broke up. And I was like manifesting, manifesting him back. When he came back, I was like, oh shit, what do I do now? Bad mistake. I should have just not let it happen. And yeah, the psychics also told me he was gonna come back, which goes into the sponsorship, you guys. Thank you to Kane for sponsoring this video. If you wanna get a reading from them, you can ask them absolutely anything. Does he like me back? When is my love coming in? You wanna talk to your pet? You can get like a psychic to talk to your pet. Then go get a reading from them. It's super easy to start. All you need to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from hundreds of readers who are online right now. Each of these readers, they have a very unique ability. So you'll find someone that will be perfect to deeply understand your situation. And you can also choose whether you want to text them or phone call them. Psychics are also really good to help you figure out what you want. Maybe they can guide you a little bit so you can ask them about your decisions, your actions. Don't forget, everything a psychic tells you, you do have the ability to change because you do have free will. Free will and the divine work together, but that's for another video. And as a new customer in Keen and for using my code, you can get the first 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is an absolute steal, you guys. So go use my link. It's only $1.99 for 10 minutes and you'll get up to $99 in savings. Something else that's helped me so much, you guys. I start it every day. I'll write like 55 times. I'm so grateful for my perfect life. And before I even start that, actually, I write down things I'm grateful for. And at the beginning, it's actually kind of difficult because I've said this in a video. If you're just writing, oh my God, I'm grateful for my house, my family. We take these things for granted. We have it every single day. As you continue to write these lists every day, you will become more connected. In literally three days, you guys, I felt so much more connected, so much more happy. I was so grateful for everything. My mindset had shifted like that. Try it for a couple of days. You won't want to stop. And it's funny because I've been in Bali with Kathleen for about seven days. I've had no routine. I have not been doing my little lists or my gratitude. And I feel really disconnected now. <laughs> so you can see how, how much it helps. Something else is that life is so uncomfortable and you're not meant to be happy all the time. So it's really important that you embrace all your emotions. So what do I mean by this? I heard something recently, I actually not recently, I don't even remember why I heard it. They said, I don't know why people are afraid of the rain, the rain is a part of nature. Like why should you be afraid of it, you know, you should just embrace it. And then it really made me think, why do we run from rain when it starts to rain we duck for cover? And sure as girls were like, oh we don't want to get wet, we don't want to ruin our makeup, reminded me of our emotions. When we feel anything but happiness, or like neutrality, we think there's something wrong. Oh, we must be depressed. We need to go on antidepressants or this emotion is abnormal. We should not be feeling it, but it's not because life is about experiencing every single kind of emotion, every single situation, right? Do you want to say you lived a fulfilling life, a complete life? Well, then you should experience every emotion. <laughs> you don't need to like run from feeling sad. It's so normal. Okay, if you're depressed for a year, yeah, maybe you're depressed, okay? But if like you're going through a phase one month, you're not feeling like yourself, it's normal. We think we should be happy all the time, but that's not true. And I find people who, 
they're so used to experiencing neutrality when they do experience an emotion that's not neutral then they think there's something wrong for example i talked about this but when i got out of high school i'd only ever been neutral suddenly i'm an adult in the real world i started to experience emotions i had never experienced before and i thought there was something wrong with me and i dug myself into a hole until as I lived more years out as an adult, living on my own, experiencing life, I was like, okay, I understand the ebbs and flows of life. I understand I'm not always going to be on a high and I also understand that I cannot control everything. So that kind of leads back to point number one where I said, everything works out the way it's meant to. And the only thing you can do is to trust and do your best, okay? Have a good mindset. You have to find coping strategies as well if you're like really in a dark place. It's also the same with people. People leave, people come and go. Everything comes and goes. Maybe you'll get lucky and something will stay and that's meant for you, but people are meant for you at different stages of your life. Maybe they've served their purpose and they're gone. If we hold too much attachment to things, we just hurt ourselves in the end. And I used to attach myself to everything because I mean, that's what humans do. When we attach ourselves to something, we build our identities. I think a great example is um, New Yorkers. Like even in the word New Yorker, right? That's an identity. People from New York, they're like, I'm a New Yorker. And then when they leave, they're like, well, what am I now? They have to reconstruct their entire identity. And that's what happens when you attach yourself to things. Also, what is that tree? You know, there's a tree and it's like, if it doesn't sway in the wind or like a hurricane, it breaks. You have to sway. And that's the only way you're not gonna break. If you're like so rigid, that's when you're gonna get hurt. That's when you're not gonna evolve. Yeah, that's one of the biggest mindset shifts I've had this year where I'm like, it's okay to not know what's going on. It's okay to <laughs> just go with the flow of life. But when you have gratitude through the entire process, then you'll really feel blessed and you'll realize how blessed you are, okay? Even if you think you're not, because I used to have this mindset where I would know that I'm I have good things going on, but there would also be like the other side where there would be so much shit in my life. And I would focus on that all the time. When you start to look at the lighter side, the positive things in life, the positive things you have that maybe others don't, then it will be much easier to deal with the darker side. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Also, don't forget to go buy the Mind Formula, which is my revolutionary journal. I'll be making a new video on that soon. Look, I actually got the sample come in it's so fucking perfect. This is the um, soft copy. There's a hard copy available. Ignore that. That's for the sample. Look at that. So you can get this on Amazon very, very shortly. The digital version is still available, but yeah, this is, it's called the life formula for a reason. And it's incorporated every single thing I talked about in this video. So if you want it all in one, change your life, be more productive, um, build habits, goal setting, achieve your goals, whatever, it's in here. And you know why it's brilliant? Because I fucking created it. So, love you guys. Bye. Give me Walmart, wandering on the moon, make me happy and blue. Norman Rockwell, no high under the covers. Mm, it strikes me and you. Oh, God, see what this is. It's me, Lou, and Sage. I'm stupid, never look at it. Someone else, they think you're in the yard and I'm fine. That's the same thing, it's okay. Do you think you can say you write out to me, make it work? Work and make. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone else, I'm back, you see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ever, 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 